Hey guys, it is Psychic Out here today. What is up? I wanted to talk about the moon signs and how you can use the moon signs into your favor. So with every different moon, it actually represents and signifies a different type of energy. So you can not only just use the full moon and the new moon, you can use the waxing crescent moon, you can use the third quarter moon, you can use the first quarter moon, and I'm going to explain how to do all of these and what you can do around these time periods to help your life. You can use the moon, the moon period as well as the moon planning to create your desired reality. And I've done it. Like I've used the new moon as well as the moons in my life to create it. But now that you are able to use all of the moons throughout the whole moon period of the month to create yourself in a month with the success. Anyways, so I'm going to go on with this video and talk about the moon signs. So I hope, I mean the moon phases. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, so let's talk about the new moon. The new moon is positioned between Earth and Sun, so it is still not seen from Earth. When the moon is actually invisible to like the Earth view, it means that the power of everything that you are using around this time period is actually being created. So the new moon signifies new beginnings. So if you don't see the moon, it's 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 still doing its power. And so during the time of the new moon, charge your crystals, make your moon water, do your cleansing rituals, etc manifest meditate do some mindfulness but it's also a period of refreshing and restarting so whatever goals you have for the month start setting up your goal start new projects plan for the month ahead what your intentions are for the month ahead what you want to see for yourself in the month ahead if you can't think of what you want your reality to look like just look at what the month ahead looks like for yourself and so also during this time take a step back from your, from your life and just see what's going on see what's going on see what's working see what's not make those goals create some things envision some things it's a good time period for that have the first quarter moon which signifies decision making when exactly half of the moon is eliminated and the other half is shadowed so action is truly ready to be taken so whatever goals you've set yourself for the month the like you you need to take the action it's telling you to take this action as well as make some decision making Reflect, reflect on any decisions you have made in the past little while. What did you learn from them? What intuitive previous decisions have you made and they have worked out for you? What choices have you made and they've worked out for you? And what did you say to yourself in that moment of time? It's all about that awareness during the first quarter moon. And so in any moon, I just want to say this before I go on, you can make any moon water, you can charge your crystals with any type of moon, you can charge your crystals any night, really, whenever you feel that it's natural and it feels right for you, do it. Sometimes I feel like my crystals are off, they need to go, they need to go in the moon. So I do that. <laughs> it just, it really just depends on what. The third one I want to talk about is the waxing gibbous moon. And so waxing means illumination is growing and gibbous means that more than half of the moon is eliminated. <laughs> and so the waxing gibbous moon uh, signifies refinement. It's a process involving like fine depth. You have to set your goals. You are running with them. There is some tweaking that needs to get done. During this time, take care of the detail, right? Because sometimes when you set your goals for the start of the month, maybe you're only able to make two of those goals that you set. Maybe you were feeling real confident at the start of the month and you were like, yeah, I set five goals for myself, heck yeah. But you only started doing two, hey, that's okay. Make some adjustments, start with those two goals. And then next month, when you start the new moon again, add some more. Like there's always room for that improvement. And I want you to know that you can use these dates and this time for your advantage. And so access and so what's going to help you access your goals is just making sure on what needs to change. The next one I want to talk about is the full moon, which is releasing sealing intentions as well. So you can use the full moon for sealing your intentions for the month as well as releasing. So it is also known as a harvest. This is a good time to set goals, make promises for yourself on a soul level. If there are any areas of spiritual growth that you are wanting to develop, whether it's telekinesis, whether it's like all these psychic abilities that you've been looking into, perfect time. Set those intentions and work on letting go of the negative emotions that come with it. If you're fearing yourself because you're like, uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think I can move an object with my hand or I don't think I can do that, then you, you can release that fear. Release that fear because that's not going to help you move forward. So use that moon and that power to help you because you will see the dramatic difference in your life. Holy crap. 
Full moons, a lot of releasing and setting intentions. You can also manifest during this time period. There's a lot of energy for that as well. The next one I want to talk about is the Wanning Gibbous moon, which counterparts to the waxing moon rather than refining our actions outwards. This is the time to reflect inwards and how we actually feel. Reflect, reflect on what's been happening in your life. What's been going on? How have the goals been doing? Focus on the gratitude. Make a list of gratitude and things that you can be grateful for around this time period because it will help in your favor. If you're putting in those gratitudes, you'll help work towards those goals a lot faster because you're putting in positive energy into your life. The next one I want to talk about is the third quarter is moon. forgiveness. It is the opposite of the first quarter moon. So forgive yourself of everything. Let's what's needed to come next come next because you can't you can't access your goals if you don't um, let those things go. Forgiveness also allows us to move on and approach the situation with a place of peace and love. So forgive yourself on some bad habits, some unfortunate mishaps that maybe like came along the way. Maybe your goals didn't work the way that you wanted. Forgive yourself for those things because challenges come and go. So just focus on forgiving yourself for those things. The last one I want to talk about is the wanting crescent moon, which signifies forgiveness and surrender. Take extra care of yourself around this time. Self-care, do not try to control the world around you because it will not bring you peace. So being mindful, go with the flow, surrender to the, real, the world around you. Then the cycle repeats. Yeah, like that's how it works. The cycle just repeats and that's it. So when the cycle repeats again, you can set new intentions. So say like you only set, say you set like 10 goals for yourself um, during the new moon. And like by, during the time period you got to the full moon and you were like, two weeks ago, am I making the goals that I made for myself on the new moon? Like make some refinement choices, like set your intentions, see if things are working for you. If things aren't working for you, yeah, so I hope this video helped with the moon phases as well as understanding how you can interpret them into your rituals as well as routines during the month. Like you can use all of these moons throughout the whole month to practice, to use it in your rituals. Like say on the weeks that it is a wanting crescent moon, you will focus on forgiving yourself and letting go of the emotions that aren't serving you. You won't be focused on setting intentions and manifesting. You'll be focusing on things that aren't serving you. So it keeps you out of balance. And the moon helps you keep you out of balance. So if you work with the moon, it will help you keep that. I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>